Hi, and welcome to this QuickBooks video. This is part of our series of using QuickBooks in agriculture. This is the third video in this series. It actually corresponds to the fourth blog post. And what we're looking at today is the class feature in QuickBooks and how that can be used for ag. So the class feature exists to allow a business that wants to track their income and expense by more than just account. So for instance, they may have repair expenses, but they have several locations and so they want to know what the repair expenses were for location one, two, and three as an example. Or a business might have a couple of different activities that you would think of as perhaps different departments uh, within one business. That lets them keep, tr uh, keep track of those different locations or those different activities, but yet only have one QuickBooks file. So let's look at how we might use this in AG. First of all, just in case you don't have the class feature turned on, here's how you would do it. You would go to the Edit drop-down, Preferences. In the Accounting section of Preferences, on the Company Preferences tab. So you have to be the admin user in order to make changes here. Make sure you have this checkbox checked right here. Use Class Tracking for Transactions. Once you check that, click OK. And what that does for us is it adds a class column on our transaction. So let's take a look at a check form. Yeah, not the register, but a check form. There we go. So I would fill out the check as I normally do. I would create, select the account as I normally do. Let's use uh, fertilizer expense. And then I have this class column here. There are three classes, actually there are four classes set up in the sample file. One ranch, two ranch, three ranch, and then general. So the sample company has three locations, and that's how they're using the class feature is to track those three locations. Whatever crop is being grown, whatever other activities are happening, the class will report all of the income and expense for that particular location. Another way that the class feature can be used I'm going to select Add New, and this is all there is to setting up a new class. Let's just say we want to track the income and expense for a corn crop in 2018. If I click OK, I have another class. It's that simple. And now I can record the and isolate those expenses for that particular crop and that crop year. The um, you only want to use one method or the other. I don't want to mix uh, trying to record by the crop and by the location, uh, both by using the class feature as the reporting just isn't going to be meaningful and it's not really going to give me the information that I need. So pick one or the other if you, uh, if you use the class feature. Now that's available on all of our other forms as well. If, uh, if you use bills in QuickBooks, there's the class column on the bill. If you use the credit card feature for recording your credit card charges, there's the class column for credit card uh, transactions. Now, when I use uh, class, this is what I get. I go to reports, company and financial. Instead of profit and loss standard, which is the one we most often look at, scroll down a little bit here and choose this profit and loss by class. And so you see here is a profit and loss with multiple columns. Here is our ranch number one, ranch number two, ranch number three. And then I added a general. So w when someone is using the class feature, I generally recommend that they, um, that they not leave anything unclassified. If you're going to use classes, use it on all the transactions. So there were some expenses that couldn't be divided or couldn't be isolated to only be applicable to uh, uh, to one ranch. And so, so there may be some uh, administrative costs. We may have a bookkeeper, uh, those kinds of things. And that goes into a class called general. The reason for that is you have this column unclassified. And when I look at this report, I like to look at that column and know that if there are dollars in one of the accounts in it, that that's an error that it needs to be fixed. 
if you use if you left transactions unclassified on purpose on occasion we'd look at that column we'd have no idea is that an error or is that supposed to be there so use a class on everything if um, if you're going to use the feature it's a very simple feature to use you want to use uh, you want to use it for income as well as expense we all use invoices and sales receipts all that much in the ag industry although class is available on those forms it's also available on the uh, deposit form so if I record income from that corn crop here's where I would set the class on the income right there and it would show on that profit and loss statement it would give me all the income and expense for that particular class I like that feature for location better than for crop or field in our next post so there'll be a video to accompany the next post we're going to look at a different way to record income and expense for each different crop and I think you might find that a little bit use, uh, more useful than the class feature at least I think most of you will so check our video and our blog post for next week and we'll take a look at a different method for, for doing that so uh, thanks for watching the video stick with us I hope that this uh, series is giving you some ideas about how you can better manage your, your farming enterprise and how QuickBooks can help you do that. Thanks.